ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, our van story. Things are getting a bit more back to normal now, and uh, we're actually going to hopefully take a quick nap just to level up. It is late in the evening, we're hopefully not going to be melting tomorrow, so um, we're going to risk it and go for... Nine, ten. We're gonna go for ten hours of sleep. Hopefully, maybe. Um, after which we should be able to level up, and also then get a little more training, which is costing us quite a bit of money. But that's a shame. Strength is nothing. Um, I think we're gonna go personality or intelligence. We're going to go personality. Um, we're now at level 17 so the enemies are going to be getting harder and harder but this should give us enough to allow ourselves to get one more item of training which will push our ability to cast unlock spells up to unlock average. Ah yes it's raining. I like it when it's raining, because it means I don't get melted by the sun. So our first mission, definitely to go get the training. I'm not going to get a massive amount of training. Really, I was hoping to avoid getting training full stop, but um, required health is below. What? what was that required health is below something? Well met, Guildmate. It's a little bit worrying. This is the man we want to talk to. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Yes, your pleasure. Um, Let's see if we can't teach you a thing or two. I would like you to teach me a little more on the alteration. And we'll I can take show you some new one things. more. Can we take one more or two training. more? Just be safe. We'll take one more. No, we'll, we'll leave it there. Because we're going to be you limited too. by our willpower. Hello, Guild. Because our willpower is at a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Our willpower is at fifty, but our max willpower is higher than that. Um, we obviously have a negative effect on us. I'm not sure what that negative effect is. Stunted magica, weakness to fire. We have something affecting our willpower. I'm not sure what that is. Um, it might, we might be slightly, believe. are we slightly low on blood? We seem to be okay. But, um, hopefully, what kind of place are they we can there? unlock some of these things, no, you see. Sir. Has we should now be able to reallocate spell wise our open easy to open average. Oh, uh, five to open average lock. And for example, now we can open this. See? Now we can read this book. Of course. Do you ever do any shopping at Northern Goods? Which well, of course, I mean, there's always something is, to you know, and we're way away from very place. hard locks, but um, Goodbye. it's certainly going to be helpful. We've encountered a lot of average locks over time, and um, it's going to be very important for us to be able to open those. I mean, there's an average lock here. I don't think we're going to be able to get away unseen, though. We might have a look at this later, when everyone's gone to bed. But, in the meantime, the other mission for today. This? I think we want to find out about this Fingers of the Mountain. Because, um... Be dear and this lady, that book like I asked. This lady has asked for it, and Tikius has hinged our recommendation on it. So... I believe she was saying... Has asked me to bring her book titled Fingers of the Mountain. Tiki says they may be able to translate it. 
I need to tell Tikis about this immediately. Uh, I need to speak to Tikis first before I can get the book. So let's what see if we can find Tikis here somewhere. Tikis, sir. Tikis. My man. What news about Irena? Well, what? she's after the fingers of the mountain. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Apparently. Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. Okay. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Hmm. Now, I have a slightly different plan. Should be your top priority. I mean, he's not told us exactly where it is. He says, Fingers of the Mountain, text bring it to me. Meaning, I need to search Cloud Top so for the book. So, if we have a look on the map, I believe Cloud Top is somewhere out this way. Yeah, we also have a map marker. Now, I, I'm going to assume Tiki has told us the cloud top was out that way. Um, because there's nothing else I can do but assume Tiki has told us because Hello, Bethesda it's... kindly rely on the map markers. But I'm thinking I want to know what she'll give us for it. Hello. I'd like to so know about I'm almost tempted to use some of my nefarious skills to um, give her the book and then steal it back hopefully she'll like leave it in her room during the evening and we might be able to pinch it back unfortunately my magic is dropping quite rapidly um we need to try and find this cloud top now we know it's out this way we've got a map marker for it now like I say, we'll, we'll assume Tikius put that on the map for us and told us where Cloud Top was. Because otherwise our brain would just explode as to how we know where Cloud Top is. Um, this path seems to very much end. And it seems to be over this way. I mean, part of me is thinking maybe I should be wearing my armor. But, um, I can move better when I'm not wearing the armor. I mean, the main reason Arvan's gone for heavy armor is because he is, he was a trader in heavy armor. So heavy armor is what he knows better than anything else. Oh, we're getting a bit... A bit naked there. We've got an ebony ring we could sell. Let's put these items on. Oh, we could have sold that orcish cuirass. We've got quite a lot of weight there with the orcish cuirass. And we've got some steel boots we could sell. We can sell this. We can put this helm on as well. But um, I forget there. We've got an orcish cuirass and some steel boots we can sell. And they're legit items. So we will armor up as we get the feeling, mainly due to dramatic music in the background, that there are nasties in the background somewhere. Where is Cloudtop? And the nasties seem to have disappeared. Cloudtop seems to be over that way. So, is this going to be easy or is this going to be painfully hard? Um, I mean, this seems to... We're looking very much like ruins. The path seems to be ending. And we need to get over here. What about this way? There's a lot of downed trees in the path here. And we can climb over those. Maybe go up this way. Oh. My favourite thing. A bear. Oh joy. We'll have a quick save before the uh, bear tries to beat our brains out. The bear appears to be stuck in the terrain, which is joyous. It's like free training. Uh, maybe not. Ah, 
Now we will train a stock bear. Training on a stock bear. Very helpful. So yeah, I mean, this is... This is interesting. Though, it seems to indicate over here still. Um, maybe we did ought to go up that path and see if it winds round and doubles back. I mean, this this road has obviously not been passed in quite a while, though it's not overgrown, which would suggest that um, it does get used. I mean, we seem to have a destroyed fort here. It definitely seems to be over this way a bit, so let's go this way. There seems to be some sort of a pathway here that can take us out towards... Hmm. Actually, it seems to be there. We seem to have gone off the trail quite a bit. Uh-oh. It's that. I'm music. Oh, God. There we go. When this sword is charged, it does a lot, a lot more damage. Don't roll away, bear. Come back. Come back. There you go. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You can roll away now. And it seems like an interesting sort of area, actually. Much things of interest going on. But I would say it's dangerous, but it's nothing compared to where, we went, where we've been recently. So, you know, that's... That would uh, qualify as highly dangerous. Aha! We have found Cloud Top. Not the Cloud District, Cloud Top. And a very unfortunate looking fellow who's lost his hands and one of his feet by the looks of it. And looks like he's been struck by lightning, I guess. And he has the book. So we have the book. We've found the book titled Fingers of the Mountain. Sorry, I'll read that for you rather than just click away from it. So I found a book titled Fingers of the Mountain. I need to deliver it to either Athena at the Grey Mare Tavern in Coral or Tychius of the Coral Mages Guild. Now, I don't know. I'm still interested in what I can get for this book. I mean, I can either get the recommendation, which I know I need, but uh, what will Arana give me for it? I'm just interested if there's anything up here. No, nothing particularly exciting. I mean, it's slightly cut off, but look at the view, huh? The view from up here must be... it, it looks amazing. Oblivion still has its moments. So, where we were over there, or around here, is there anything else worth discovering? I mean, I was, I mean clearly we were over there where the bear was. Um, but I mean, normally, these quests seem, well, these quests seem to vary wildly from finding someone who was just invisible in the guild, to go into a terrifying lair and die horribly so these quests seem to be quite a uh, varied shall we say in terms of their um, sort of scope i don't know what's i mean there's definitely things here there's paths through the rocks it almost seems like there is some sort of direction to it all But to be honest, I'm not sure where the hell I'm going. I mean, there's definitely more up here. There's a bleeding minor tour right there, though. I mean, I'm not so keen on that. I faced enough minor tours and crap. What about up here? I think that's going to go back to where we looked up to a minute ago. 
is there anything else of interest here? I mean, there looks to be something of interest right there. Is that... No, it's, that's like a weird rock slide coming down the hill. Actually, it may not be wise getting too close to that. I mean, yeah. I'm not sure that is um, a wise direction to take. I mean, it's either that or the Minotaur if we want to continue forward or we just bottle it and run away. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll give the Minotaur a go. And if it doesn't work, we're going to run away. We've got... Have we got a couple of health potions on us? Just in case we need them. Uh, no, we have not. So... We will quickly bung on the Artesian um, Ujimi flick. Actually, interesting case in point. With the Artesian Ujimi flick on, can we... No, we can't. I was thinking maybe we could improve those because that should take us above 50, but it's not. It's not going to work that way. Let's see if we can knock up a health potion quickly. Um... Let's go to the filters. How do we end up with fire damage on? Restoration. Restore health. Select. Yes, done. What have we got? We have some ham, which we can use. Yeah, we'll use that one. And we can do some dragon's tongue as well. And we'll do that one. And that will give us a couple of health potions, just in case we get our ass in trouble here. Um, our health potions... Uh, uh, uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, look. Is that a guard or is that someone else? Maybe we can use the guard to help us here. Yeah, he, he's a knight of some description. Minotaur horn. Worth good money in Minotaur horn. Night, sir. Make it quick. How are you? Um, say what you're going to say. Wow, you are miserable, so and so. I know you've just been attacked by a minotaur, and I came and helped, but I thought I was lending aid. You know, What's a great not. F I thought oh, I was being helpful really to you. Now. You're such a charmer. Rem I you did indeed think I was being extremely helpful and compliment. would be really? cheering Please. you up no end. That's just. Not funny. Not even a little... Get oh, I mean, please. I thought you'd be really happy of the help. Right. I get it. Do you have any rumors of what's going on around here? If you've done good deeds, the Nine will bless you and cure diseases when you visit their way shrines. Eh. Well, I wish I'd known that um, before because um, maybe I could have used that ooh, probably about a year ago now. Um when I was originally in a lot of trouble with a horrible, horrible debilitating disease. Yeah, Mandrake. I wonder what Mandrake should go for. And, uh, you know, before it blossomed into something else. Oh, God. Oh, it's a lion. Oh, my God, it jumped over, it jumped over us. I have the high ground now. I also have the poor ground for running away, but, uh... Ow. Lion pelt. Um, hmm. Am I going to end up using one of those health potions straight away? I did say I would back off, but, um... I'm smelling alien ruin here. I mean, this feels very alien ruin. I'm not ready for an alien ruin, but this whole area looks fairly untouched. So I'm thinking, you know, we'll just, let's just have a peek inside. I'm thinking, oh God, I'm thinking it's dark in here and there are people in here. But I'm thinking Welkinstone and Welkinstone. Uh, 
Uh, there is someone here. Oh god! Whoa! How did I not get squished? What did I stand on? That almost got me squished. I mean, this guy has... This lady, in fact, is... She's a vampire. Maybe she would be friendly. I mean, I am a vampire too. Um, I can't steal anything off her. I mean, vampires aren't known for being friendly. Maybe we can smack her around the head without her noticing. Stop where you are. Oh. Let's run this way and see if uh, we can get her squished. You're out. Uh. Ow. How, how did she get... How did she hit me? Well, I actually healed there somewhere along the lines. Oh no, what happened? I supposed to be the vampire tried to bite me but pushed me away. But I pushed her away. Uh. Where'd she go? Wow, she, she's gone invisible. Uh. Holy... Can I try and bite her back? I tried to bite, bite the vampire, but she pushed me away. I tried to bite the vampire, but she but pushed her away. And I got her. Sort of. Apart from the fact I can't seem to loot her, which is a little bit unfortunate. And take the Dolphin Shield. I can't seem to loot her body. I'm worried about getting squished by this thing. I can hit her. Whoa! Whoa, she is not dead. She is not dead. Is she dead now? She was not dead. Um, that was probably part of the issue. She was very much not dead. I'm over encumbered. Okay, this could be a problem because when I go outside, I'm going to be more over encumbered. Clearly, I need to get rid of some of the heavy load I have before I come back here. Oh, and I'm not even wearing my armor like an idiot. I should be wearing my good armor. But she had something here. Orcish Greaves. Um, because my current Greaves are the Dwarven ones. The Orcish ones are a little bit tougher. They weigh a little more though, unfortunately. Which is never a good thing. I mean, how they look. They don't exactly match, but... Um, you know, I am a mismatched monster at the moment. I mean, the Orcish one looks quite nifty. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that this had a fortify health 20% on it, I'd be very tempted to keep the actual Orcish Curus as well. I mean, it looks a lot more my style. I like it. I mean, a twenty percent fortify, a twenty point fortify health isn't that fantastic. I mean, what what actually is our health anyway? Um, yeah, well, it's about ten percent, so it's a reasonable amount. But um, hmm, tough call, tough call. I'll think about that on the way back down. Because this one is eight, and this and the other one is nine, but the weight is another five kilos. But I think I'm done. I think I'm not going any further. I think we're calling ourselves, as in having to leave now. 
um, while we're there, to lower a bit of our carry weight. I think we will see what we can repair. Basically, anything we can repair will be good. There we go. One, repairing the items mean they sell for more. The other one, the other factor, is that repairing the, I the items trains my skills. Well, I'm going to be pushing my luck now. I very much need to go on a mission to pick up um, some more feather items. And uh, kind of get done. I think the first thing we need to do, if it's not too late, is we will sell off some of these items. I mean, we don't need all of them. I mean, we can keep the orc orcish curious while we think about it. I think I'm definitely going to sell the legs. Even though I'm going to be mismatched. Oh, after long, arduous hours of practicing, jumping, and controlling your fools, you've become an apprentice of acrobatics. You can now attack while jumping or falling. However, you cannot use power attacks while in mid jump or mid fall. Only regular attacks. Fair enough. So, an apprentice. So, uh, I can't remember what Apprentice is. It's apprentice, apprentice is level 25, I think, in Acrobatics. My willpower and intelligence are still sort of drained. Magica-wise, we don't have vast amounts. Um, athletics. Um, oh, level 53. I'm guessing something is fortifying that, because i um, pretty sure Apprentice is... Is less than that. I mean, the temptation there is I, I could do it. So I just noticed summoning my skeletal minion a little bit more. I've become rapidly quite good at conjuration after running away with the. Um, and kept casting him the other day. I've, I've developed some interesting conjuration skills. And while I wasn't supposed to be going for being a mage, oh Christ. Um, I mean, you know, my bear has been extremely helpful over time, and even the skeleton was very helpful for just running distraction. So, it's definitely something I'm considering putting a bit more practice into, because... I can at least distract my enemies while I wail on them. Woo! Man, I can jump high now. I can jump like a pro. I'm like a flying machine. You know, soon it won't be the lions jumping over me. It'll be me jumping over the lions. Doing, 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 doing. As we're getting back to town, I'm gonna change back into my uh, default robes. I think. Um, what's a dark shirt look like? Hmm. I don't mind it, and it doesn't wear anything. But, I mean, you see the robes are fairly light and they cover me completely. Um, which is actually pretty handy. Where's me shoes? I'll put my shoes on. And I'm going to take my gloves off, I think. There we go. And we'll take the shield off. I've got a spare shield as well now. I'm going to put the sword away because we're getting back into guard territory. Oh, hello. Yeah, you know, well, I was hoping for a bit warmer welcome. I haven't done anything too nefarious here yet. Yet. I did eat a couple of people, but you know. That's not too nefarious yet. Right. Let's see. If I give this to Arana, can I 
get this Have you been off well her. Recently? Well, if it isn't my little helper, have I'm you gonna risk that it. book for me yet? Um, I don't have then it. Then why? Are... No, then why am I here? I don't have it because I'm just yes. gonna quick save before well, I do this. Well, if it isn't my little helper, have you retrieved that book for me yet? I have. Here's the oh, book. Oh, wonderful! I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mare until I've finished my work. But please don't disturb me until I'm done. This is quite a delicate business, you see. Dookie, dookie. Right. Yes. My plan is to let her get to work. Um, translating it. Though she, did she give me anything? I missed it. I'll have to look in the video. Did she actually? Did you actually give me anything? I must put this book. In. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. Can we sell some bits? So. Hello, madam. Hello. I'm Rashida, the smith, and Indeed. this is fire and steel. Quality I like the name. Armor and weapons, repairs too. What can I do for you? And what can you do for me? You can um for starters. Let's see I'm how much me. you like me. Uh you you like a joke and you don't like the other two. Okay. Um Done. I'm fine with sure. that. Was that supposed to be a compliment? That's you're a I doubt you No more. You're frightening me. So yeah, yeah. she likes No more. You're blocked. joke and coercion. Don't be silly. I mean, she has a sense of humor, so that's not good in my book. You I whatever you want. You're a I'm not buying whatever you want. Sure. There that's go. cute. She's starting to starting to really like us now. Don't be silly. Whatever. Not bad. You're a big fat. You're a. Was that supposed to be a compliment? That's whatever you want. So. Can I interest you in something? What's your. Oh, you're an expert in haggling, so we are not going to get a lot for what we sell you. Eek. Um. Okay. Can't what about, what about repairing, repairing my equipment? You'll repair them all for 52. Okay, I'll take that. Um, Good day. I actually think I'm going to just try across the road in the um, Greetings to you. shop that was mentioned to me by the slightly scary Argonian lady. Hey. Let's try. Northern Goods and Trade, that's it. Hello. Hello. Um, are you Good selling? Day. Good day. Do you, do you trade? You don't trade. Well, seeing you. Yeah. Good day. Good day. Um, how's your mother? My mother owns this shop. She would be glad of your business. Good, good. I, I can I can help with that. Any rumors? You know, I think the mutton here in Coral is the best in all the Empire. Mmm, that's good mutton. Okie dokie. Good day. Hello. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Yes, Seed Neus. Um, first of let's all, let's do business. Let's check your, your your skills. You're an apprentice, so I might get a bit further with you. Can I? Um, Certainly. Oh, I can't warm you up very much. Um, can you tell me a bit about coral? If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. Thank you. Uh, any rumors? You ever talk to Hondata? Odd no. Fellow. But he seems to know his way around these parts. Uh, I've never even met the fellow. Okay. What Knowledge are you training? You're training mercantile. Um, have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Ebony emerald ring. Um, yeah, I'm sure there is. I can... I would like to try and haggle you reasonably. I don't think it's going to be great, but I'm hoping for better than the other merchant. 
Um, can I sell you an ebony ring? I can. Let's see if I can sell you for a little bit more. Sell you that top. What else can we sell you? Are you not you're not gonna buy the weapons and armor, are you? I can see it now. Damage intellect. Um Welcome stones, I need to take these back to the Imperial City. That that's probably highly useful. Can I if I knock you up another couple, can I get an extra coin for those? I can. There you go. That's more. You got a great deal there. Alright, so that's relieving some of the weight issues. But you will not buy the weapons and armor. That's a shame. Okay. Tell your friends about me. Uh, I will. Be seeing you. Um although I'm slightly disappointed I'm not gonna be able to sell that to you. I'm gonna have to take a bit of a bigger hit on it. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Um, okay. Let's do business. Let's try and have you, you may be expert, but um, we're going to hope to see if we can get something else off you. What about if I do I can't that? You're going to refuse the offer, okay. What if I do, do that? I no, still going to refuse? How about a little bit more? I can't make... Oh, wow. You're gonna hammer me, aren't you? You don't expect me to make. I did, but um, I'm not settling for much less than that. To come back and see me again. I will. I will for after you? I try of and course. cheer you up a little bit more. Because that is I'm not, not an acceptable you level of uh. You're a not bad, not bad at all. Of result don't, for me, I'm afraid. I accept. Sure, that's cute. Armor, weapons, I have it Come all. Come on, you, you, you can do it for me now. Me to make... Really? You're going to hammer me right down on this, aren't you? Silver bow we can get rid of. Um, glass arrow. You can buy those. Okay. Now, if I could sell the lifeblood blood curious for its full value... I would That's definitely sell it, I was deciding, because you drive a really hard I want to rely more on my health potions. So that would be where I would go with it. She will buy the apron of Adonis. Hmm. That's a tricky one, because I really think she's hammering us, so doesn't weigh that much and I'm gonna have to go back to the Imperial City soon so I think I can get a better deal that's a good deal so we're gonna keep the Orcish Greaves the Orcish Curies for now because if we can we're gonna shift this one off but we will sell our Dorven Greaves to try and shift some weight here an excellent bargain um, we need to go back to the Imperial City now with Welkin Stones I'm and we can sell off some customer. of the other goods so I think the next stop Goodbye. will be the Imperial City after this town. But first things first, we need to see if we can get this book back. Hmm. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take a room at this inn tonight. And my plan will be to rob the book back. An honor to serve you. I'm Imfrid, owner and publican of the Grey Mare at your service. A room or food, whatever you wish. Um, I'd like a room if you've got one. I have a room ready if you need it for the night. It'll be 10 gold. Interested? Who am I interested? I will take it. The room's yours for the night. It's just upstairs, the first door on the left. Sleep well. Dookie, dookie. Take care. What's the time? It's about 7 p.m. Greetings. Uh, so this is the room. So I'm assuming 
You've gone and popped it in the cupboard here. Oh, hello. We, we can do this without this and we need to practice. So just allow me to quickly potion myself with that one. Because they need to be drunk. Good evening. Oh, it's so you. I am People assuming. Yes, trouble in Kabach. The whole town Yes, come on. Only a few Give me boom. Bye. Fingers of the mountain. Thank you. <laughs> right. We have liberated it. So we'll go and see her tomorrow and see what happens. Um In the meantime, I'm probably going to do some potion making and um, also see if I can grab a bite to eat before I uh, go, go for a rest. But I will do that off camera for this time to save you guys watching all the potion making. So with that, I'm going to stop sneaking and say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always, and join us again next time. Thank you very much.